It is a very wide open race. Uh, trying to pick a winner. Well, we have a couple of athletes from Chile, a couple of athletes from Spain, a couple of athletes from Canada, uh, a couple of athletes from China, and the sole Cuban. There we have it. At the top of your screen, you have two athletes from Chile, Rocco and Maliard. Jacomi from Spain, Katie Vincent from Canada, Du Bois from Cuba, Wenjon Lin from China, Corbera from Spain, Shui from China, and the, the youngster Sophia Jensen from Canada in the outside lane. What a quality field. Absolutely incredible that we can bring this sort of quality together. A couple of the athletes are missing. Nevin, Nevin Harrison, the Olympic and world champion, is not here. Ludmila Luzan from Ukraine is not here. But that takes nothing away from the standard of this field. We've got some world champions. We've got some Olympic finalists. There's Maria Maliard from Chile, fourth last year. Antia Jacomi, now she will really give this a shake. She is the 2022 under 23 world champion. She was fifth at the Olympics, second in the 2021 senior world championships. Katie Vincent, world champion from 2021. Fifth at the World Championships last year. I know she was a little bit disappointed with that result in front of her home crowd, so she'll be out to make amends. Du Bois from Cuba on her day, and if today is her day, she will be very, very hard to beat. Uh, Wenjun Lin from China, a bronze at the World Championships last year, sixth at the Olympics. The Chinese very, very strong in the canoe events. So you'd expect there'll be a bit of a challenge there for the lead at some stage. Uh, Kubera from Spain, from the very consistent China. paddler. More used to the C2. And Shui Lane from China, the 2022 under 23 silver medalist, stepping up to the senior level this year. And in the outside, Sophia Jensen for so long, such a strong paddler in junior and under 23 levels. Just 21 years of age, third at the under 23 World Championships last year. This will be a great experience for Sophia Jensen coming in the outside lane. It will be a real test of where she is at the start of an Olympic qualifying year. But there's Katie Vincent. She means business this year. She told me earlier on this week that she feels as good now as she's ever felt. She's changed her training regime. She's got a different approach to, to her training and she thinks that's going to transfer into some pretty strong form on the water but alongside us Du Bois from Cuba, Jacomi from Spain these are the athletes who I think will give this a bit of a shake and of course the Chinese athletes you can never discount them in a women's canoe race they're particularly strong so a quality field very hard to pick a winner very hard to even put your finger on who could start as favorite probably Du Bois from Cuba Vincent from Canada, Jacomi from Spain, but really it's a very wide open race. It's 200 metres, you need to get a good start. They're in the starters' hands now. The women's C1 200 final, and they're away. And everybody got away nice and cleanly. It looked like Jensen down on the bottom of the screen got as good a start as anyone. So as we head off in this 200 metre splash and dash, and it looks like it is the Chinese athlete who's gone out early. It's Wen Jun Lin in lane six who's gone out the hardest. Inside her, it's uh, Du Bois from Cuba who's trying to chase her down. Katie Vincent hanging on by her fingernails. And Jacoby from Spain also giving this a real shake. But as they come down towards the finish line, maybe 100 metres to go, it looks like it's Du Bois from Cuba coming through in the middle. Du Bois, Vincent having a crack at her. It's Du Bois from Cuba, Vincent from Canada. Du Bois, Vincent, Du Bois just. Du Bois from Cuba just ahead of Katie Vincent. With Jacomi from Spain holding on for third, but that is a very good race. And this young lady from Cuba, the Cubans, of course, as we saw in the Olympics, they're so so strong in canoe races. The men have been particularly strong, and you'll see over the weekend they've got some strong paddlers here. But Yaris Ladies Du Bois showing. How much she's improved as a C1 paddler. 
in this Olympic event, the C1 Women's 200, taking the gold medal. Katie Vincent threw everything at the Cuban over the closing 50 metres, but the Cuban had it under control. The Chinese paddler Wen Jun Lin led early. Here you can see she got the best of the starts and was really heading the field at the halfway stage, but she faded to finish outside of the medals, I think. I think the bronze ended up going to Jacomi from Spain. But we'll get official confirmation here. There's Du Bois and Cuba just holding on over Katie Vincent with Jacomi on the inside in lane three, taking the bronze. What a great race. Gee, I tell you what, doesn't that whet your appetite for the rest of this year? We are going to have some fantastic racing in this women's event. Um, once Nevin Harrison comes back, once uh, the Ukrainians come back, it's going to be a fantastic event, fantastic qualifying season. So confirmation there of gold, silver and bronze.